Hi guys, it's me, Danielle Danny Buttons, and I'm back for part two of Tractor Tess. I'm pretty sure that's her name. Now that I've said it, I'm gonna check. Uh, I do remind you, this is from Hannah Lynn's Tattoo Darlings. And she always has all of her little girls or pictures up in the front with their names. Where is my tractor lady? Page two, Tractor Tess, yes. And I love this because I check them off when I'm done with them, and it kind of, I pick from the front sometimes instead of flipping through everything. Anyway, when last you saw us, we had done an acrylic paint background, which we attempted to make into uh, wood grain, maybe. Does it look like wood? I still don't know. And we did some orange hair and just a blue sky. So we're gonna get started again today. I think I'm gonna start with her dress. I think I'm gonna do her dress in dark green and then do light green behind her. I don't know yet about her apron. So and I'm also gonna do her dress and her little bows the same color. So I'm actually gonna start directly with the bows. If you are new to my channel or at least haven't seen the first part, I will let you know that I am a straight colorist 90% of the time. I'm just gonna fill in the boxes, not really worry about shading too much. I do shade and blend the skin and the hair of almost all of my handling girls, but for the most part, the rest of it is just straight colored. So I'm very impatient, which is the problem sometimes, but the reason that I straight color. Also, my color, my color pencil, my pencil sharpener is again missing. Oh, nope. I just never see them. Like my desk is a little bit crowded, which luckily it's all off screen, so you don't have to worry about it, but I lose things right in front of my own eyes, so. Womp womp, as they say. Okay, so how you doing? This is actually only like an hour after I filmed the last half but it will probably be two to three days later that I'm posting it. I'm stockpiling my videos. So not much for me has changed, except I put a sweatshirt on because it's freezing. This weather has been crazy and it continues to be crazy. I am in New Jersey and yesterday the high was 96 degrees and today I think the high is about 72. So 72 is very nice on its own, but not after 96. It's just tricking my body into thinking I'm freezing. So, um, yeah, so now I have my sweatshirt on. I put the air conditioner off, but it's too late. The damage is done. And I think it's going back up to at least the mid 80s, maybe Monday. So I get a few days off, but whew, I really like this color. Hannah Lynn books are some of the only books that I seem to like what I've made basically every single time. There's very few Hannah Lynn pages that I don't like what I come up with, which is different for me. But I don't know what it is about them, but I just always end up liking them. So, how's your day going? What day of the week is it when I'm when you're watching this? That could be fun because maybe you're not watching it the day I put it out anyway. So, like I said, it's still Friday here. So now there's like two days left till my bridal shower. Or when you're watching this, my bridal shower probably already happened. So that's pretty crazy. I can't believe the time is finally coming. Because I feel like we've been waiting forever for this to happen. So that's exciting. Let's just do some green background. This one actually might be a short video too. Because I feel like the majority of the picture is done. But I'm kind of excited because I've, I've been doing long ones. So maybe it'll be a nice change to have a short one thrown in. Yes. So... It is Friday. I think tonight I'm going to get Samuel to pick up a Panera salad on his way home from work. I'm 
really love Panera salads, but I'm so sad because the, my favorite salad apparently was seasonal and they have now stopped carrying it. And I'll, oh no, because that's what I was craving. But I looked it up and it's not there. I don't know what the name of it was, but it was like a summer salad. So there were strawberries and mandarin oranges, blueberries, lettuce, chicken, and some sort of nut that I now can't remember. And then I would have them add a sprinkle of grated Parmesan and it was delicious. So um, the salad I tried last time when I realized that my salad was gone um, is some sort, I think call it some sort of Asian salad because you know those like, I think they call them Asian noodles. I hope I'm not making the like crackers that are noodle shaped. It has those in there. And it had slices of almonds. It had a vinaigrette of some sort. It was pretty good. It was not my salad, but it is, I guess, my new fall salad. So I think I'm gonna have Sam bring home one from work because his work is very close to the Panera. So that is nice for me. And what are you gonna have for dinner? I always like struggle coming up with food dinner ideas. I'm a terrible meal planner. It's sad. So if you have any favorite go-to recipes, let me know. I'd be interested in checking them out. My problem is I'm a very picky eater, which I'm much, 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 much better than when I was younger, but I'm still pretty picky. Uh, I mostly don't eat meat besides chicken, and that's not for any ethical or religious or any sort of reason, just taste preferences. So I'm a chicken girl. I do eat some beef, but not too often. And yes, we eat a lot of pasta, a lot of Italian food in this house. So, Italian food, though, while delicious, is not always very good for you, which is sad. I just realized I skipped this whole part for no reason. Okay. <sighs> we also, Samuel and I, got an instant pot as a wedding gift already. My friend who couldn't make it to the shower sent us the instant pot and told us to start using it. And that's been a lot of fun. It's basically a pressure cooker. And like, this was Sam's number one wish list thing. He loves to cook. So he does almost all of our cooking, which again, is super nice. But um, this pressure cooker is amazing. We haven't used it too much because we just got it, but it like, it makes things so quickly. Uh, it makes rice in like four minutes. And we had a rice maker that took about half an hour. And obviously you can just rice on the stove. But we'd like put it on while we were doing other things. And then he would like make the whole rest of the meal and the rice would still be in the rice maker. So, and then there's soups. And I was reading the little instruction book that comes with it. And I was like, chicken noodle soup. And I usually, when we make chicken noodle soup, just put it on like all day and just let it cook for like four to six hours in the slow cooker. It takes 10 minutes in this pressure cooker to make chicken noodle soup. What? That blows my mind. I cannot wait to actually make some, but it hasn't been cold enough for that yet, even though it seems like it is. It's not, <laughs> so. That's what's so funny. And I've been seeing memes all over that are like, oh, first day of September, you want it to be fall, but it's still 90 degrees. And I'm like, yep, that's what's happening. I love fall because I don't like it when it's super, super hot. And I just, I just am basic. I don't, I'll be honest, it's fine. I've always loved fall. Okay. Time out while I pick colors, and then I'll talk more. Um, I was kind of thinking yellow, but what about the dots? Is that too much? Should I do yellow background and then worry about the dots in a minute? Maybe blue, no, that's too much. I like the idea of yellow, though. 
maybe like yellow and another shade of orange. Does that coordinate or, or clash? This is where I lose myself and this is where I start not liking the picture is when I like make what I feel like is a mistake on color choices. We're going for yellow. Okay. Yes, so I like fall. <laughs> but I always pretend that I'm like, oh, I'm so excited for all the, the pumpkin spice and for all the coffee and all that. I can't drink coffee. I try. I just, it makes me nauseous. I'm not really, I basically only drink water. Sometimes I'll drink some iced tea, sweet tea, but mostly it's just water. And it's sad, I love mugs, like I collect mugs, but I just usually put, um, I make mug cakes now, or I'll put mashed potatoes in my mug. <laughs> Sometimes I'll eat cereal out of my mugs, but very rarely am I actually drinking anything exciting in my mugs. But, ooh, I know what I do love for fall drink-wise though. I love apple cider. Take that, pumpkin spice. I'm an apple cider girl. Yes, I um, I love Stop and Shop brand apple cider and like ShopRite brand, which I don't know if that's a national food chain, but that is our grocery store in case you are not from New Jersey or surrounding area. Um, yeah, I love their brand of apple cider and I'll just like get a gallon a week or something ridiculous like that. But I don't feel too bad because the whole rest of the year I drink only water, so I haven't gotten my first gallon yet. But I cannot wait. And I'll put that in my mug and drink it. I also pretend to like hot chocolate when we get to winter. I don't really like hot chocolate that much. It's okay. I think that it's probably a lot better when you do it with milk and not, um, water but I always just run the water through my Keurig so it's almost always just water I don't know uh oh hmm my neighbor is pulling back his garbage bucket and I just turned around because I figured my puppy would scream but she didn't hear him so that's good I also love fall for the corn maze, which I told that story in the last part one of Tractor Ch Tess. So you should definitely check that out because that's hysterical. And then I love fall. I love apple picking. I love, what else is super fall? The fire pit. This summer, like we usually do the fire pit in the summer too. But this summer it was just so hot that even at night it wasn't really cooling down enough for the fire pit. So I think we only did it once or twice. Then it basically rained for a month in like July, August, which I know I mentioned two months, but it like spanned them both. But 30 days of rain, you get me. So that was frustrating too because I just wanted to go outside and I couldn't because it was always raining or 95 degrees. I'm hoping that the weather is much more mellow in the fall too, but not cold. So then I can actually get to go outside. I think my pup misses going to the park and going walking. And I'm also kind of getting quieter because if she hears any of these words, she's gonna be in here whining. That's not bad, right? I don't know what to do the ruffles. I'll think about it. Let's do the, it's so weird, the 20, or the 48 pack of Prismacolors doesn't officially have red. It has Carmine Red, Poppy Red, and Crimson Red. Oh, and Tuscan Red, but not plain old red. So that's strange. Yeah, the only negative to these tattoo girls are sometimes the tattoos are really tiny and hard to color. Also, I just don't know if all these clouds are supposed to be clouds. 
Seems kind of like a weird decision on her part to get those as tattoos, but hey, she can do what she wants. What else? Yeah, the only downside to fall is when the clocks change. I don't like the dark. I wish it didn't have to get dark at all, ever. I gotta like move to Alaska when it's light for six months. I don't know, I don't know if I'd be able to do that. But, um, I hate the dark. The only upside is this year, the clocks change on my birthday, which always makes me laugh because my birthday will be 25 hours long. So, I feel fancy. Do we think those are sunflowers? Probably. So I think that's pretty exciting to have a 25 hour long birthday. My friend sometimes is stuck on the other side and she has a 23 hour long birthday. So, sucks to be her. But. And this is a big birthday. I'm gonna be 30. I'm not really looking forward to it. <laughs> I don't want to be 30. It just seems like an intimidating number as far as lady birthdays go. It definitely is like the age you start comparing yourself to other people, which can get dangerous. Unless you're comparing yourself to people you're doing better than. But that's not very nice, so. <laughs> Ew. Um... Maybe I'll just make more of this skin. Let me sharpen this. The 48 pack also doesn't come with like any grays at all. So I had originally bought this Koei Koe Noor gray from AC Moore and I've been using that and I just stuck it in with my 48 pack. So I don't understand that, how there's no grays. There is the silver, but the silver is metallic. So that's a very different feel than just gray. So. Oh, also, I looked it up again. Brittany, her Instagram, BMZXO. There was not numbers, it was just an O afterwards. I'm going to link it in the last video and in this video, but look her up. She colors a bunch. She posts a lot to stories, which I always love to watch. So she'll like post questions and she's starting to do live coloring. And I think she said she's gonna start her YouTube channel soon. Or if she has, I have to find it and subscribe. But yes, I will not forget again, I hope. Like, are these all clowns? Sure, sure. Okay. But yes, she is going to buddy color this with me. So you'll see us both post it on Instagram and probably tag each other. And that's cool. Ta -da. All right. Did anyone come up with what I should color this yet? I was almost thinking of doing, oh, I missed a, a polka dot. I was almost thinking of doing it this dark yellow, but does that make sense? Like, why would this be in there? Or should I just do it? Cause I can do what I want. Let's do it. Ready? Ah, no turning back. I mean, I don't think it's gonna look bad. I just think it doesn't make too much sense. I always have that problem when I'm coloring is that when you're making art, obviously you want all the colors to coordinate, but then I think of like, what would I wear? And I wouldn't necessarily match my hair to my outfit every day. I mean, I have brown hair, so it's kind of different. But point is, like in real life, not everything coordinates perfectly. So I never know what to do with my colors. I thought this was going to be short, but we're already at 20 minutes. So I think we're going to be a good half hour by the time we're done. Which, that's not too shabby. 
<clears throat> I always get caught up and hate doing the details. I think I'm just gonna keep the clouds white because I don't want it to be like a dark day. I want it to be a happier day. So I could throw some gray, but I probably will not. Yeah, for almost two years, I only had the 48 set of these Prismas, and I got along just fine. Sometimes I know, myself included, we all like want the biggest, best pack. But if you don't have it, it's no problem. Little pink piggy. Can you see? I think so. I've been having a lot of fun filming again for YouTube. Feels like the good old days. Back at it. And like I said, I keep trying to come up with ideas and I have a little list in my bullet journal of all the plans that I have, which is not too many. I don't wanna get anyone's hopes up, but uh. Piggy in the mud. But it's been fun. What kind of channels do you watch? Do you watch just coloring? That's fine. Do you watch gossip channels? Do you watch home improvement, cooking channels? I watch a lot of booktube. I watch a few vloggers. I watch a bunch of color tube, obviously. A bunch of scrapbook tube, I guess. Some comedy stuff. What do you like? I'm always interested in knowing because I find that like some of the stuff I watch is incredibly random. So I'll watch like 90% of what I watch would be coloring and then I'll just like watch the slow-mo guys that's very random they do stuff in slow-mo and it's super cool i know a lot of people are really into beauty videos do you watch beauty videos i do not because i do not really do makeup i don't know how and i feel like even all the beauty videos they're like too advanced for me so I never know how to do her eyes. Do doop. I might throw in some green. Cause why not? Do they look hazel now or do they just look dirty? Yeah. Even though this is a shorter video, I still don't have much to say because like I said, I'm filming in the same day as that other half. So, yeek. I don't know what my plan was. Horseshoe. Bottle. What should I do, her pocket? Eggs. I guess those are eggs. I don't really know why she would have eggs in her pocket, but it seems like she does. I guess I can do it the same color yellow, right? Sure. Commit. Don't be afraid. Bam. Is that it? Wow. Well, there you go. I think that's it. Cool. I hope you enjoyed this. And check out Brittany. Again, if she started her YouTube already, I'll link that below too. But otherwise, check out her Facebook group and her Instagram. And I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you come back to watch more later. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.